Hello and welcome to this little video where I'm going to demonstrate something I've been working on on and off for the past couple of days. So pretty much what happened was I made a design document for a game idea that I had. I wanted to communicate some stuff to some people and uh, pretty much I wanted to also add in a little demo of some of the combat system that I had in mind. Also personally just to check out whether or not it works or not. So I started I started messing around with Unreal 4, which is probably the engine that I would use if I made this game. And uh, Unreal is pretty freaking amazing. Like as an artist, I can actually do stuff, which is pretty crazy. Um, it makes programming possible for me, so that's absolutely insane. Uh, so I'll just uh, show you guys what I made. I, you, I'm sure you, a lot of you, won't care. You know, this isn't an art stuff tutorial or whatever, but. I'm just kind of showing what I've been busy with, so... Okay, so let's hit play and check it out. So you're in a third person isometric perspective, sort of. It's pretty much isometric. It's like 10 degrees field of view or so. Um, it's because the engine has problems with true isometric stuff. Or orthographic, I should say. So immediately uh, we're greeted by these two dudes to just test. Um, because I figure if I make this game, it's probably going to end up being 2D-ish like a two and a half D, so these might be the characters maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so pretty much what I coded was, um, it's a directional combat system. Now this exists in games already, so, you know, a couple types of games have this, uh, Modern Blade comes to mind, this is pretty much where the idea comes from, but it doesn't exist yet in sort of top-down, kind of Diablo-like angle, I haven't seen it at least, so it's pretty cool to have this in the you know, they'd be able to have made this. Pretty much what happens is you can choose the direction of your attack and please disregard these animations and stuff, it's all stupid placeholders. But anyway, it uh, it's gonna take your attack direction and like intelligently decide whether it's a slash from the right or from the left in this case. We could, I could add tons more, but uh, right now it's just left and right. So you can see if uh, it follows my mouse like that and uh, it doesn't matter where I click, if I go like that, or if I click here and do that, or here, or here. So it feels very natural, basically. And it, there's a surprising amount of math behind this. It seems really simple, but yeah, it took some head scratching to get this working properly. Uh, one of the cases is basically if your mouse isn't moving, you know, if, I, if I'm not moving at all, it still is gonna find the mo probably most accurate direction so mostly you want to be moving your mouse like that and you can pretty much yeah you can hold your slash and prep it and then walk around and then when you're ready you, you can release and like so you can fight it's pretty cool it's like a, a very uh, skill based um, it's a very skill based uh, combat system pretty much because as you can imagine if you can block also directionally then you have you have a dual system going on and you can really fight it out with just like clicks uh pretty awesome um so yeah it works and of course i have set up some uh physics objects here they kind of flip out but hey so we can totally bash some skulls in here Okay, and then there's these uh, anti-gravity boxes here <laughs> that I just gave some extra weight and stuff so you can so I can test my accuracy, I guess. Now it looks kind of clumsy because of the animations and stuff, but rest assured, this feels very natural. I can surprisingly easy. Uh, it's surprisingly easy to choose the direction of your strike. Um, so and I can also move, uh, hide the mouse, which gives it the better, you know, this is pretty much what the game would look like. So it feels like I'm controlling the arm, even though there's only two directions yet. Uh, it's pretty cool. I could totally see a combat game like this, so as a proof of concept, it turned out quite okay. So that's it for this video, I just wanted to demonstrate what I've been making. Actually, I can just give you a glance of, uh, the math behind this, just because I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> uh, if I can load this up real quick. 
So these are all the nodes uh, behind it. Yes, I use nodes. Uh, programming is like with code is actually just a little bit too annoying for me and I mess up too much. So pretty much just a ton of vector-based uh, mathematics behind this uh, to set directional uh, direction of the strike. I'm not going to go into exactly what happens here, but yeah, you can see um, this program is pretty damn sweet. Unreal 4 is awesome. So that's it. If you are interested in knowing more about this potentially maybe game that will happen, then feel free to ask me. It doesn't like it's not like secret or whatever. So uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.